right in front of my condo and there is no back exit. There is only one exit and that is through the front. Uh, I ran and I grabbed my wife. We ran downstairs to the garage. I wanted to hide in the trash bins, the big, the big things, thinking maybe we'd be safe. My wife refused. So we climbed, it's, we have uh, in, the, in the condo was a, a stacking, a car stacking elevator where you drive your car in, it puts it on the second floor and then you drive others in, so up and down. We climbed up on the second floor, hid under a car, both of us together for five hours. We were not under there for, for a minute before we heard the running up and down the stairs and excited voices and then they came into the, into the garage but very stealthily. They, they looked into the, the, uh, the garbage room you know, I, I'm rumored to be armed and dangerous, and I think they didn't want to just open the thing. Uh, they were talking. We could hear them talking. Um, and, and they were there for about an hour before the garage truck came in. The garage, um, uh, I mean, the gar garbage. The garbage truck came into the garage. They rolled the bins, they lifted up, dumped it, compressed it, both bins, and drove off. We, were st we waited two hours till after everybody had gone. We ran and got our things, and we left, and we haven't been back. Why not lay in wait with a um, assault rifle and yeah. might have been cops, but they're coming to kill you. I mean, could, it may have been real cops, okay? That's, that's what you told me right after it happened. You said, well, might have been cops with a warrant. How did you know? Yeah, I didn't. But cops with a warrant do Say not, warrant! Yeah, cops with a warrant do not try to compress you in a garbage truck. And you don't show up at 2.15 in the morning. And, and it wasn't garbage the, day either. And it was not garbage day. <laughs> they didn't get everybody else's garbage. Huh? They didn't get it. Yeah, so it was not garbage day. And, and then I got to say, that does sound like how those hits work. And that's why you'd need $2 million, is they wanted all official covered up. Right. You hire the cops. And the reason, and the reason that, um, that it was... You my, know, you can't get the cops to take part in a hit in every city. I know you can in Houston. I think you can uh, in every city. Well, 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 they got cops that, that kill people in most big cities. Right. But they usually work for organized crime. It's saying not every city has the police chief oh. being part of it. Oh, right. Well, I don't think yeah. the police chief was well, part of this, but but certainly the cops were part oh, of yeah, it. These yeah. were legitimate cops on legitimate motors. Sure, sure. All right. Well, you know the big uh, thing. Most hitmen are cops. I mean, in well, major cities. Indeed, that is true. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think in almost all cities you get you find this. Um, but the general so, public so doesn't. I think I think the reason that the, the they put out a report that I was dead is so that. Everybody's going, oh, my God, McAfee died. And then Mac says, no, that's not true. So if McAfee does disappear the next day, no big deal. No, I don't pay much attention. No, that's how they do it. It just creates confusion. It creates confusion, and, and therefore people don't pay much mind to it. Because really, if I were just to disappear out of the clear blue sky, people are going to talk. But it's the day before, there was, a, there was a big article saying I had died and of a drug overdose. You're really smart. I mean, obviously, job. you're a smart guy. I've been told by high-level Army officers that when, I, that when I see these stories that I've been killed or disappeared, that's when I've got to be careful because they'll do that right before they disappear no, me. You've actually heard that. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Oh, and I've had family that worked in black because ops I just, I just, and, and, and in the muscle end of things, and they told me that. No one told me. I just figured it out. Really? Well, you know, no, there's, there's some verification. Oh, no, that's I mean, definitely if, if I true. I can believe yeah. you as much as you can believe me. No, no, that's true. That's true, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I think a big thing is how did this all come together? And one of the interesting <coughs> coincidences that, that John has uh, reported, and you can check this out, the, the country of Belize, for the first time in that country's history, traveled abroad <laughs> to what city? Portland, where John McAfee is living. To play soccer. To play soccer in a soccer game. And the team is like, you know, part-time carpenters. Yeah, there's not even a real team. Yeah. They lost to the U.S. 6 to nothing. They had no chance uh, at I all. I think it was 6 to 1. And this is the first time. Now, why would they come to Portland, Oregon, where I'm living? Get real. And this was two months before the hit, or the attempted hit. Right. Classic uh, double down as an investigation, but call yes. it a soccer game. Yeah. Yes. Find out where he lives. Now, that's, that, you can, you, it's hard, but people, people go, no, they didn't go to Portland. Check it on the internet. So they did. ESPN. Again, I mean, that ESPN. is speculation. Undoubtedly, though, them coming to your, these people that came to your place, that, that is amazing. Yes, absolutely. And now you're in an armored redoubt. I am, I am in a location where uh, I can guarantee you no one is going to get close to me. So, and, and I, am, I am angry. I've, I've stopped being afraid. I'm not afraid anymore. I am pissed off. I am seriously. Yeah, last time you were here, you had a pretty serious guy with you going around with you everywhere. Yeah, well, I've got a whole bunch of serious people around me now, and and they are serious people, and I'm serious myself. I I swear, I am pissed off. Uh, just come for me. That's the attitude I have. I know that's nonsense, and I know that's, that's my attitude. So hell, that's the only attitude you got to have in life. So what else can you have? Because I am seriously pissed. And I'm in, a, I'm in a part of the world where anybody who comes is they're going to stand out. They're going to stand out big time. 
and I am. Well, it's, it's always good, safe to be a, with a bunch of hillbillies. I, I'm a good old boy from the South. Hillbillies, yeah, hillbillies are where to be. I was raised in the <laughs> Appalachian Mountains. Stay there. We're going to come right back right. to you. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation using six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation using six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. John McAfee with us for the balance of the hour with the investigative journalist who's with him, who, of course, writes for the site SiliconAngle.com. And we appreciate both of you gentlemen joining us here today. As promised, we're going to phone calls. But, John, what brought you to South by Southwest? Uh, I didn't come to South by Southwest. I came to see you, Alex. Well, I'm uh, flattered. We had, uh, I had talked to, uh, to John about what our strategy would be. He's going to write the first two chapters of a, you know, maybe a 20,000-word report. Um, and uh, then we needed to go and, and, and talk to somebody live. And I said, Alex Jones. He said, why Alex Jones? I said, number one, uh, he's a friend. And number two, he has an extraordinary 
extraordinarily loyal a listener base. Um, and what we need are people to that will will believe us and we'll get this story out. I mean, I've got to point out, you were in Belize on the run, and the two interviews you did because your friend told you to do it was Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. That's it. <laughs> That's absolutely And right. I can tell you, Joe's for real, too. Yeah, he's a great he is. guy. No question. He's certainly a character. Have you, have you met him in person yet? I have not. I've, I, I enjoy talking you to him. You should do his time. podcast. I've known him since, like, 1998 when he finished news radio. So, I mean, he's just an awesome guy. Uh, you guys ready to go to phone calls? Absolutely. Let's do it. This is a short segment, 18-minute segment coming up after this. Chris... He's in Massachusetts, uh, and uh, he's retired military, wants to talk to John McAvee. Um, thank you for calling in. You're also talking to John Casaretto, who's an investigative journalist. Go ahead. Well, it's a real honor and pleasure to, to be able to, to address all three of you. I, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, uh, because um, the lo lo oath of loyalty was taken by myself and uh, as other military Every, all military take it to defend a constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And uh, I've realized over time that this cutting edge uh, that I listen to on this show with guests like yourselves, Alex, you and your staff, are defending the true government of the republic. Our government of the republic is one of the constitution. And anything that feigns to take away our constitutional rights, which government is supposed to protect, is not our true government. And so I want to thank all of you gentlemen for seeking to save the true government. And I want to thank you for your loyalty to the true government of the United States, which is one of a constitutional rep representative republic. Well, God bless you, sir. I don't want to live under the globalist tyranny. You're absolutely right. These are domestic enemies that are trying to claim those of us that want to live in the republic are the enemy. John McAvee, your comment on that. Yeah, Chris, I, I want to thank you for your comments, sir. Um, you know, it brought tears to my eyes. Um, he had a lot of authority I, in his voice. He did, uh, and you do, Chris. Um, I'm putting my own life on the line here because without freedom, we don't have a life. And thank you for your comments, sir. Absolutely. God bless you. Anything else, Chris? I, just briefly, um, I, I've been out on the street in Massachusetts for a year and a half um, with signs, placards that I make of my own. There, there must, there's well over 150 of them if you don't count double sides. And uh, a lot of horns, a lot of thumbs up, and a lot of thumbs up when I have Infowars.com, too. So Massachusetts, we're still in the 50 states, we're, and we're loyal to the true government of the United States, just as you men are. And I'm very, very happy and honored to be in your, your company. God bless you, brother. Yeah, I'm loyal to George you, Washington. You know, that's the type of thing I'm loyal to, not this New World Order, sell everybody out, dishonorable. I'm loyal to people that are honorable, and you can believe what they say, because that's really all there is in this world. Like Tony Montana says, only two things in this world. <laughs> we all know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's take another phone call. Uh, another Chris. Chris in Canada. You're on the air with John McAvee. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, quick question, John. Is there any evidence that uh, there might be British involvement with this uh, Belize uh, uh -huh. passport thing, considering that they are the former British Honduras? I, I have no evidence whatsoever, whatsoever that links Britain uh, in any way to, uh, to the sale of passports, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. So never heard any chatter about that. I guess they left in the, by the late 80s. I know when I was a kid going down there, you saw jump jets and British troops. The British troops have since left. Yeah, when did they leave? Maybe seven or eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead. It's just weird to see jump jets and British troops and... and Central America. Uh, go ahead, Ernie in California. You're on the air. We're going to break in one minute, but go ahead and get your question out. All right. Hey. Yes, sir. Go hey, ahead. John. Mm -hmm. yes, All right. Hey, I, I'm, a, he's, I'm really glad he's in the pissed mode because that's going to save his back. And I want to thank him for coming out with that software when it comes. And that one question I have for you gentlemen, the Malaysian flight that went on, four of the top chip makers were from Freestyle Semiconductor or something like that. Now that they're gone, that patent goes to Carlyle. I know that's the Carlyle Group. Right? Really? I wonder what you thought about that. Yeah, there were a bunch of top tech people on that plane. We're going to come back with John McAvee and his investigative journalist is with him. John, we'll get their take on this. I want your take on the Malaysian flight. Right. Glad that caller called in. Thank you, Ernie. Peter, Stephanie, and others. Toll free number to ask questions unscreened. Uh, just make sure they're addressed to our guest. 800-259-9231. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com. Now confirmed, the U.S. government spying on Matt Drudge. That story on InfoWars.com.
We're on the march.